Hey guys, you read the title. We are riding two ponies today and we're starting off with the one and only, the world's best barrel horse, Chester. So I get him his salt block. I get asked about this. It's good for them to lick salt, but I mostly do it because it really keeps him busy and calm at the trailer. He really does enjoy it. And so it helps me out a little bit and gives him something to do. I use this plastic curry all over his body. Thankfully, he's not losing a lot of hair right now. My other three, Kite, Zorro, and Scout are still shedding mountains of hair. But thankfully, Chester has naturally kind of a short coat, not a lot of hair, so that makes it easier on me <laughs> during the spring. And then I move to a soft brush because I think it knocks off the dirt really, really well. And he's always so dusty. No matter what I do, he stays dusty. So I do this across his whole body. Once I'm done with the left side of him, I will move to the right and repeat the process. Plastic curry to soft brush. You will also see me brush off his legs. Some people kind of forget this step, and if you're gonna put sports boots on your horse, you need to brush them on their legs because you do not want anything under those boots. It's very important, not only for your horse's comfort, but it can bow a tendon. And I didn't hear about that until like two years ago, freaked me out. So I'm telling you, okay? I am looking out for you right now. I also make sure to brush where both cinches go. I ride in the back cinch. I know a lot of you might not. I love my back cinch. But anyway, you want to brush where the cinches go for the same reason. You just don't want them to be uncomfy under there. It's not fun for either of you. So just make sure you're grooming your horses up good. I know I can get in a rush. This day we are supposed to have more tornadoes. If you know I live in Arkansas, we had a really bad tornado hit. Thankfully I am okay. My family is okay. And all of my animals are okay. If you live in Little Rock or Wynn, I hope you are okay. Please comment if you are and I am praying for y'all. So today I'm hurrying in case we get more bad weather. I knew it was supposed to rain in a few hours and I had these ponies to get ridden, so I was a Russian. I get his tail out because I did have it in a bag so it could look really good for you guys. It's gorgeous. I love it. I'm a little lazy, but I do love whenever I put his tail in a bag how it looks. I also braided his mane, so I'm taking those out and he is staring at me. I think he's trying to see if I have treats and if he could possibly mug me for them, which he is always looking to do. And it was kind of funny when I got these braids out, the wind was blowing his hair. He looked amazing here. And again, with the weather, it was too windy to set my tripod up. I didn't want to risk my camera falling. So that prevented me from being able to video me throwing the saddle on, but thankfully it died down. So you could see me do these cinches. This is a new saddle and with him, he does rub really bad with the kind of rides he has. So I think it's going to live in my room with its saddle stand. So this is one of our final rides in it. I don't want to mess it up. I've never won a saddle, so I'm trying to keep this one. And then I put on these boots because I kind of think they match the breast collar, kind of the springy color vibes and they are hot head soles. I am sure you are very tired of me mentioning that, but if you want to support the channel, use code Sadie5 at checkout and get a little discount and some super cute tack. I promise to wear a different pair of sports boots very soon, but these have treated me very well. And I have the matching bell boots. I love to match. I think it's cute, except sometimes you will see me rocking some very mismatched boots. In that case, I forgot to clean my tack. That does happen. Here he is looking stunning in all of his tack. And the last thing I do is get that last bell boot on and we are ready to go ride. Here's a final pan of our tack. I lead with only one side of the reins clip. So that's why I clip it here before I hop on. I start our workout today like I start all of my workouts and that is by walking. I want to get that fluid good and warm and funny enough I accidentally left my muck boots on. I like wearing them because they're more comfortable but it sucks every time I forget so I had to take a brief intermission and actually switch to my boots here. Very embarrassing but whatever. Okay don't worry about it and I pretend to be a bronc rider for whatever reason. So I resume my walking and after a little bit of walking I ask him for a nice sitting trot. He does get a little excited but I just sit there. I try to be as relaxed as possible. It can be so hard but I just sit with my hands barely on the reins 
and I'm cueing him to kind of put his head down because I don't want his head super high in the air. I just want a nice, very, very slow trot, which is really hard for his hot barrel horse brain, but that's okay. He's special. I work with him. So we do this for a while, so I'm going to let you listen to some music, and I will meet you back when we lope. I put this part in here because he looks so gorgeous. Look at him. Beautiful trot. Nice head down. Perfect. With him, he's usually going to be really hot the first time you ask for the lope off. And that is what he got. The Pivo could not keep up with his just insane speed here. So you're mostly going to see from the camera's view. That is why I'm sorry. The Pivo just cannot match Chester's enthusiasm here. So I work kind of the same. I try to be relaxed. It can be hard. And I ask him to kind of keep his head down a little bit and just work with him to get down to a nice, much calmer lope. And there I ask for a stop with no hands and I put my hand on the horn because I did not want to fly over his head. Okay, my bad. It happens. <laughs> So I pet him because that was a great stop. All I had to do was say, whoa, and he gave me that, which is perfect. So I walk a little bit, keep petting him, and we turn around and repeat everything this way. So I walk for a little bit before asking for that same exact trot. I wanted to repeat everything on the other side to keep him even. in Chester fashion he got excited again but that low pop honestly wasn't terrible we could have been going 40 miles per hour and we weren't again Pivo kind of struggled so you're gonna see the Canon camera more my bad that is why he is just built for speed and is too quick I guess <laughs> Thank you. 
once he gave me a nice lope we broke down to a walk i don't like to ask for a hard stop too often because he's already kind of hard on himself so i'm not gonna do that i cool him out and by that i mean i walk around for a while before I hop off and take him back to the trailer for me to get all of his tack off. He had a great workout today. He did really good and now I'm going to go yank all of his tack off. I start with the saddle for some reason today. Normally I start with the boots. My bad. So I get the saddle off. I am going to spray him off today because it was warm enough. Thankfully, I love that. I love when I can spray the sweat off of him because I think it would be the same as me not taking a shower after working out. And I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so I don't want to do that to them. He really hates to be sprayed off. You can see it in his face. It is the worst thing ever to him. So he looks very happy through this process. Once I'm done with that, I do make him dry off before I let him outside and then I go get Scout because we are riding him today as well. I get him time to the trailer. He does not really like the salt block and he's so fidgety so the only thing I've ever found that will make him stop doing that is a hay bag. So I probably should have made him one today but again I was in a rush because of the weather and he is still shedding so, so much hair. He is still a woolly mammoth. I am waiting for the day that I do not have to use my Slick Easy before every single ride. And he looks really big here. He is 16.2 if you're curious. He is a big old boy. Using the Slick Easy for what felt like an eternity, I moved to the soft brush. I think it knocks dust off better and you can tell he was so, so dusty. So this is kind of satisfying to see he was covered in dirt. So I want to get that all off before throwing on my tack. And I also brush off his face so that there's no dirt under the bridle or anything that he has on. For him, I am riding in a build-up classic equine because of how high up his withers are. And then I'm riding in my usual saddle on him. And I try really hard not to slam it on him. I try to slow the momentum down, even though he is you 
Mungus, and I pull up the saddle pad by his withers, and I have to take the cinch out because the last horse I rode in the saddle was Kite, and that was not going to work. Kite does have a fat belly, but due to his weird thoroughbred build, he is smaller in the girth area, so I have to change it for him. And I tighten the cinch. I don't tighten it all the way here because I don't want to do that till right before I get on. I don't want it to be tight for no reason for too long, and I also want to give them time to blow any air out of their stomach that they have, because I'll find I'll tack them up, get in the arena, and then it's like my cinch is super loose out of nowhere. And I do like to keep the back cinch snug. I'm not a believer in it being loose, because then what's the reason it's not for aesthetic purposes and I have seen horses get their foot caught in them it does look loose here but I tighten it before I get on and we are rocking the hot head stalls cowhide breast collar today it looks really good against him and he freaked me out here um I think he was spooking at a fly or something of that sort but here he looks very cute and my spur straps are also hot head stalls and I do not forget to change into my boots this time. I'm doing better. Mental checklist, doing good right now. All right, I do not have a good video of us walking, but I hop on and I am asking him to put his head down and give me this nice collected trot instead of what I normally ask for. Um, he knows how to do it, so he should, you know, always do it if I want him to. And we worked on that today. I wanted him nice and collected, engaging his top line. And we trotted for a long time because I'm getting him whipped into shape. He needs to be in great shape. And if you've been following me, he looks really good right now. He actually kind of has a belly and a butt, and he didn't really used to, so he's looking really good and this ride was a little more difficult than our usual rides but we made it through we trotted for a really really long time sitting down with the head down and then i eventually asked for a posting trot but with his head down still again engaging that top line This was a really weird moment that didn't feel so bad in the moment and then I saw it in this video and it freaked me out a little bit but he was obviously okay. If he had limped or shown any sign of lameness I would have gotten off right away. I think I turned around here and started trotting the other direction. I did the same exact thing sitting the trot asking for his head down and then here you can see me like I mentioned I am posting the trot but still asking him to keep his head down.
when I feel like I've posted enough this way, I turn around and ask for the posting trot the other way, keeping him very balanced and even. Now that I've trotted enough, I ask him for a nice, smooth lope. I still want a collected lope, and I don't want him going very fast at all. And I am riding him in split reins today. You can probably see. I forgot to mention that. Um, I need practice with split reins. They're not my strong suit. Um, I need to ride in them more. So we are riding in them today, and I feel like I can just ask him better to put his head down with the split reins. Once I am done loping both ways, his workout is finished and he is very sweaty. He had a very hard workout today, but he is going to be in great shape. We have worked up to this point, I promise, slowly building him back up. I go ahead and take my breast collar completely off of my saddle so I can wash it because he got very sweaty, very salty, very gross today. So I get all my tack off and I'm kind of trying to not press the girth against me because it is disgusting but you gotta do what you gotta do and I laid my saddle pad out to dry I did not put it in my trailer for a while here's a good look at him after his workout and his time to spray him off because I'm not gonna leave that on him that is gross so I give him a good rinse before putting him back in his stall When he got back in his stall, he had some succeed waiting for him, so he was licking that out of the bowl, and I turned his fan on to hopefully try and dry him out, and when I came back with his hay bag, he, of course, rolled. So this is what I returned to with that weird patch of hair out, but he was happy with his hay bag. Big, big shout out to KS Barrel Racing and AKEQ. Thank you guys so much. Y'all are amazing. If you want a chance to be shouted out, comment that you've subscribed and turned on your notifications. Thanks for watching. Bye.